Hello, my friends, Pragito here from discovermeditation.com. And tonight we're talking about how to quiet the mind, even if it's chaotic. Is that even possible? Yes, it is. You have to bear with me here because I'll take you through it. So you have to listen through to the end. Um, so I'm going to take you through the steps of how to how to quiet even the most chaotic mind. So the first step is that you have to relax the body. And you might think, oh, well, what's that got to do with the mind? So here's the thing. If you keep trying to force your mind to do something, you will never win. Uh, like to try and make it be quiet, force it in some way, you get in a fight with the mind, not a good idea. That's not an easy way to do it at all. So the first step is relax the body. Because the body and the mind, of course, they're very, very connected. And the more relaxed the body is, the more relaxed your mind will become. Yes, that's a very valuable little tip there. So pay attention to it. So whatever it can take you to relax your body, don't worry about the mind right now. Just focus on relaxing your body, letting your shoulders drop down, paying attention to your breathing, and just drop down inside, being aware of your body, becoming more and more relaxed. You can do this right now. Relaxing the shoulders, the arms, relaxing the legs, letting the jaw drop down. And as you feel yourself becoming more and more relaxed, the mind and the emotions become more relaxed behind that. And a relaxed mind is a much easier mind to deal with than a mind that is full of tensions. So that's your first step, relax the body. And then the second step, once your body is feeling more relaxed, then you learn to become a witness to the mind, to observe the thoughts as they pass by, to witness them, to watch them. And as you practice this, which I recommend you do this daily, like maybe a few minutes, five minutes a day, just practice this technique created by Gautama the Buddha 25 centuries ago. There's a reason this technique has lasted as, as long as it has, because it works. So you learn to disidentify from the mind when you become the witness. Even if the mind is chaotic, don't worry about that. That's just masses of thoughts all jumbled up together. Your job is just to let the thoughts of the mind pass by. There's actually nothing for you to do. Simply watch, simply witness. Oh, the mind is very chaotic today, very, very busy today. That's fine. Just let everything pass by. Now, imagine if you are sitting by the side of a stream 
and you're looking at the water in the stream and it's beautifully clear. And you can actually see the bottom. It's the water is so clear. Now, if you throw in a pebble, it's going to cloudy the water. It's going to muddy up the water so it's not clear. So what are you going to do? Are you going to wade into the stream and try and make the stream more clear? Putting your hands in and swishing the water around or something? No, that's not going to work, is it? What you're going to do is you're going to stay sitting on the side of the river on the bank and you're going to watch, witness, observe. And in its own time, the muddied water will clear. You know this. I'm sure you quite likely have done this, throwing pebbles into a lake or a stream. And you sit and watch, and it becomes clear again on its own without you doing anything. Now the same is true for the mind. If your mind is chaotic, you simply sit and watch and witness and observe the thoughts passing by. Yes, they're chaotic. Just let them pass by. There's actually nothing to do except Bring your awareness to the witnessing. Bring your awareness to the witnessing. So you're sitting totally relaxed because first step, you've relaxed your body. And now you're simply witnessing those chaotic thoughts of the mind and letting them pass by. And just exactly like the stream, your mind will calm down. It will become quiet and clear in its own time. That's the thing. It will do it in its own time, not to your agenda necessarily. Like, it's not the kind of thing you can sit there going, oh, hurry up, come on, mind, hurry up and get clear because i got things to do and, yeah, no, <laughs> that's not going to work. Patience is needed. Just like with the stream, the water will become clear in its own time. And the thing with the stream is you know that it will, don't you? You know this about throwing a pebble in a stream and it goes all cloudy and muddy and then it, it becomes clear again. Yeah, you know this. So it's just a matter of time while you sit and watch. But it's exactly the same with the mind. It's just a matter of time and the mind will become clear again. See, you have to give the mind some space to settle down, to calm down, especially if it's full of a lot of chaos. And that's all it needs. It just needs some space to calm down, to settle down, and then it will become totally clear, crystal clear. And all in the meantime, you are sitting there relaxing the body, which is very good for the body. The body really likes it when you sit there and relax. So this process is very good for the body and very good for the mind and very good for you because then your third step, you start to live more and more in the present moment, disidentified from the mind. See, the mind lives only in the future and in the past. 
But the truth is, the only reality is now. Right now. The present moment. The future isn't here yet. In fact, the future never comes. Because when the future is coming nearer and nearer and nearer, then it becomes your present moment. The past is finished, it's gone. So, see, you're always in the present moment. Always. And the present moment is where you want to be because this is your state of pure life force energy, of aliveness, of joy, of peace and calm, of wisdom. This is the place to be in the present. And the more you practice this, it doesn't always happen overnight. If it happen, happens overnight for you, please let me know because that is really fantastic. It takes practice. Like everything that you want to master, it takes practice. So don't ever give up on this because it does work. I guarantee it. It works. Just you have to put in the practice. But if you put in like five minutes a day consistently, because you want to be consistent with this. It's more important to be consistent than do like try and do it for an hour, which will probably drive you crazy. <laughs> so just do it for five minutes and you're going to get little, little insights. Those little moments of silence, of peace and calm. And then they'll be gone and then it'll be chaotic again. That's okay. That's how the journey goes. It is not a linear journey where each day it gets better and better. Like some days it might seem worse. Your might, mind might seem like way more busy than it's ever been before. That's okay. You stay with your witnessing. You stay with your same practice. And it's really an incredible technique because over time, the mind does quieten down. So it goes from, and I know it's happened to me. And I used to have a very busy, very loud mind. And now my mind can still be busy, but it's not loud anymore. It's more calm, it's more quiet. And that's because I'm more calm. That's because I keep my physical body in a state of calm. So the mind then is calm and it doesn't shout and yell at you because the mind can be a bully. You know, it really can. It can be yelling things at you. So you have to step up as the master of yourself. And you do that by your presence, by being present with your witnessing technique. And in, your, the, in the power of your presence, the mind disappears. It cannot be there. The mind does not exist in the present moment. And when you're sitting doing your witnessing, yes, you will get caught up in the mind. I mean, this is the journey. You'll get caught up in the mind and then you'll remember, oh, Back to the present moment, back to witnessing. And the breathing can help you here. Focus on your breathing because breathing is always in the present moment. The body is always in the present moment. So really, Rather than trying to fight with the mind, quiet the mind, and all of that, just let all that go. Focus on coming into the present moment. Let that be your focus. And, and focusing on your breathing helps too. Conscious, aware breathing. 
You can do it right now. Just being aware of your breathing brings you into this moment, which is now. Yes. And now here you are in the present. The mind is not there. When it comes back, which it will, <laughs> it will. Then you notice that when you notice, oh, the mind is back. Breathe. And become the witness, disidentified from the mind. Now this is the quickest, easiest way to quiet your mind, even when it's full of chaos. It works. And here's another thing you can do is you can notice your reactions to situations. So let's say your reaction, for example, to this COVID-19 situation we're all in. It is a situation, that's what it is. However, the mind always likes to come in with commentary. And usually the commentary is negative. Like, oh, this is terrible. This is never going to end. This is awful. The world's coming to an end. All kind of negative thoughts like that. Now for you, There is a moment when these thoughts arise where you can notice that it's thoughts of the mind influencing your emotional state. Because if you listen to your mind for too long with these kind of negative thoughts, then that affects you emotionally. And you start feeling sad or depressed or angry or just irritable. Because those negative thoughts have produced those negative emotions in you. So notice with your practice the commentary of the mind on the situation. And notice too, if your emotions have changed, if you're now feeling depressed because of what the thoughts are saying. Because what that does is that the mind is also making this negative commentary about your situation. It's also making negative predictions about the future. And so now you're buying into that and getting even more angry or depressed or sad. And you don't know the future. Nobody knows the future. We can guess at it. And you can make negative guesses at it. You could also make positive guesses at it. But always be aware that they're guesses. It's not reality, because reality is only ever now. This moment, which is now. And in this moment, you're in a situation. So notice the commentary of the mind making your situation right or wrong or good or bad because that's what the mind will do it will start judging or criticizing or comparing
and very important not to believe everything your mind says because it's just commentary it is not the situation and and what you can do is if you are noticing that you have some sadness or depression arising or feeling starting to feel irritable or angry you can ask yourself you can do this little inquiry where is this coming from ask yourself where is this arising from this irritability or this sadness or this anger where is it arising from in me because what you'll find is the source of it is something the mind is saying the mind has suddenly gone off on a negative rant about the situation with COVID-19 or something else about about your mother-in-law or about your brother or your ex-wife I mean you know the mind can start going off about all kinds of things and so you just ask yourself where is this arising from and it will the the, the feelings and the feelings will be caused by whatever the mind is saying And so by becoming fully present to yourself, you will begin to notice this connection between the feeling state and the mind, and you'll be able to start to disidentify from the mind. And as you do that, the thought the, the emotions Will calm down they'll disappear because they're only there because they're connected to these negative thoughts in the mind see the connection between the mind body is is very powerful and when you understand this connection when you understand how this all works then you can Bring your awareness and disidentify from the mind. And remember, no forcing the mind, no trying to make the mind do anything because you won't win that way. No, simply watching, witnessing, observing. Remember the stream, the muddy, cloudy stream. You sit on the bank of the stream and you witness, you watch, and the stream will become clear again. And your mind will become clear again as you witness everything that is going on. And this really is your ultimate freedom the freedom from the mind because you just imagine that more and more you are going to be living your life much more in the present moment and in all the situations that you find yourself in in life you'll be able to be just with the situation aware that the mind is coming in with all kinds of commentary about it but you just let all that commentary pass by and then you can just be present with the situation this is a great freedom 
because you have then your inner resources, your inner wisdom, your joy, your lightness of spirit to bring to bear on your situation, and of course your creativity. Because this is new. The COVID-19 situation, for example, is brand new. So we need our creativity. The mind is limited. The mind only knows what has happened in the past. And so it's never had this COVID-19 situation before. So it doesn't know what to do. And so it does what it always does when it doesn't know what to do. And it comes up with all kinds of negative scenarios. Oh, this is terrible. It'll never end. The world's coming to an end and all kinds of nonsense like that. Because, but basically it's because the mind does not know. So the part of you that you need in an un unknown situation, the part of you that you need the most is your wisdom, your creativity. And these are the parts of you that will arise you imagine you've, you've got a clear place with that you've got the mind calmed down because you've been doing your witnessing just like the stream now the mind is calm and clear and now you uh, gives rise to your inner wisdom and your creativity to come up with ideas for this new situation it's a brand new situation what to do And the sky's the limit. You have your imagination. You have access to these very powerful parts of yourself. Being in the now is the most powerful place you can be. In the now. In this moment now. So you have to try this. The more you show up, the more you are present with yourself, observing the mind, noticing the emotions, and asking where are these arising from? Where are these emotions coming from? and you ask these questions of yourself in this self-inquiry, the more you will be at peace. The more you will be relaxed with your body, the more creative you will be. You'll be an ideas factor. So this is the path. This is how to quiet the mind, even if it's chaotic. Yes? All right, my friends. I hope this has been helpful for you. And this is Pragito again from discovermeditation.com. Please let me know you have watched this. Please put in the comments, replay and any questions you have and anything you learned from this please tell me what you learned so that i know that uh this has been helpful for you because you really can be free of the mind it's absolutely possible so i will talk to you again very soon i love you all